Well, it, it should be a safe place, but for thousands of breast cancer patients, their grueling medical care is now a free-for-all on the internet. An 11 Alive investigation uncovered thousands of private medical photos of breast cancer patients were leaked online as part of a ransomware attack. Savannah Levins has the story. The leaked images were not only mammograms, but also full frontal photos taken of patients' breasts, many with their face in them. Survivors tell me they're horrified this happened when they're already going through so much. March of 2020, as Georgia was shutting down because of COVID, I found a lump in my breast, and it turned out to be stage 2B triple negative breast cancer, which is the most aggressive form of breast cancer. Sylvia Garcia was 31 when she was diagnosed with breast cancer. I underwent 16 rounds of chemo. I chose to have a bilateral mastectomy, which means they removed both breasts. And I have 10 doctors that I see. For so long, her focus was just on surviving. I couldn't stand up straight. I couldn't bathe myself. I remember one day waking up and saying, if this is what it takes to have breasts, I don't even know if it's worth it. This month, she learned thousands of breast cancer patients had their medical information and photos hacked. I'm horrified. I mean, just to think that maybe my picture could have been there, that a stranger saw that, it's, it's horrifying, but infuriating too. Why, why would someone want to do that after we've been through so much? There are photos of you, you know, in your most vulnerable time. Patrick Kelly is a cybersecurity expert who discovered the leak. This one has me shook a little bit. Being totally honest, um, not just test results, not just their names and their addresses, but like full body photos um, of these people. It's just one of the worst um, breaches I think I've ever seen. Kelly says the breach primarily came from Lehigh Valley Health in Pennsylvania, but other breaches may also include patients in Georgia. Do most of them not have any idea that this has happened? I don't think they do. It's left survivors like Garcia devastated and questioning everything. We have to sign a lot of forms about who can have access and all this, but how secure it, how is, I mean, is it really secure? It's scary to think that anybody could just access all of my information. Kelly says patients should feel empowered to ask questions during their appointments. Ask, do you have to take these photos? What are you going to do with these photos? How long are you keeping this data? Where is it going? Lehigh disclosed what happened, saying they did not pay the ransom the hackers demanded. Kelly worries it's a slippery slope. This morning, we've had five more healthcare breaches. You know, the more damaging, the more salacious, the more impacting that the information is, you know, the greater chance that they're going to get paid. Yay! Garcia is now in remission and working to support other breast cancer patients, hoping to spread awareness and protect survivors. It can happen to anyone. Listen to your body. If something feels wrong, speak up, say something. We had to fight through hell to get to where we are. You will go through some dark times, but we're alive. You can learn more about the leak and to figure out if you were impacted, we have the, all the information you need. Just look for this story on our website, 11alive.com.